hello guys today i'm going to show you a trick how to multiply two matrices using a calculator for this basic criteria is of for a matrix this is the number of rows and this is the number of columns number of columns of first matrix and number of rows of the second matrix should be the same like 3 into 3 3 into 3 or 2 into 2 the other numbers like number of rows of first matrix and number of columns of the second matrix can be whatever you want so let's start how to do it on a calculator we'll take this example and here's the answer let's see if that matches uh, for doing matrix multiplication we have to go in matrix mode currently this is in mathematical mode as you can see here so for going into matrix mode we'll press mode and here's the matrix mode 6 then we'll press 6 so this comes then press AC because we don't want to store anything over here then this comes into matrix mode you can see over here then we'll go in we'll press shift then 4 then we are into matrix this is the matrix mode dim is for dimension store dimension as I have written here dim this is used to store dimensions like we will store here the matrix A and matrix B and uh, data is the data which is stored matrix a matrix a means the if you want to see the matrix stored any time then we will press this option okay that's all then we will store the first matrix now by pressing one that is into dim now we we can store three matrices possible uh, first matrix is matrix a so let's select that and this matrix is of three into three so we'll select three into three by pressing 1 then store this matrix as you can see over here this is 2 1 2 3 1 3 4 1 4 same as this okay then press AC so we have stored the first matrix matrix A if you want to store again then press shift 4 dim dim is for storing dimensions of the matrices then dim now we have stored the this matrix in matrix a now we will store this matrix into matrix b so for that select 2 and the dimension is 3 into 3 so select 3 into 3 and then store this same matrix i pressed ac because i stored it and you can confirm that that you have stored that the same matrix by pressing shift 4 like I'll show you again shift 4 then matrix A if you want to see matrix A then press 3 it will show you the matrix A see 2 1 2 3 1 3 this is the same matrix as we we are supposed to store ok guys so now to multiply these matrices we will select shift and 4 matrix A into shape for matrix B then press equal to and see the magic as you can see the answer 32 35 30 42 that's the answer you can do multiplication of as I told earlier the number of columns of the first matrix and the number of rows of the second matrix should be the same okay so thank you guys